We have connection ball in position number two. All right, with position number two, that's gonna be right here. And whenever you guys place the connection ball um, in position number two, try to make more of it be poking out the back as opposed to the front here, okay? Reason we wanna do that is because whenever it's poking out the front here, it's easier to kind of drag it through the whole time and we don't wanna do that, okay? What we do wanna do is we want this connection ball to drop straight down, okay? But we want it to drop straight down um, whenever this back hip begins to rotate and when this arm starts to lay back in an external rotation, okay? <clears throat> a lot of you guys had the, or three, I believe it was three of you guys, had the elevated distal humerus. So this is a, a good one for that, is that connection ball in the two position, okay? But let's say the only rule was to have the connection ball drop straight down, okay? If I do this, I can still drop it straight down, but I still got elevated there, okay? So very, very important to make sure that the connection ball drops straight down whenever this arm goes into layback there, as opposed to just picking it up just like that, thinking you're doing it correctly, but you're not. So it's not really much of a difference kind of over time there. Okay, uh, more disconnection that this can be used for, cross near chromial line is one, uh, forearm play is another one, as well as inverted W, okay?